Did you happen to notice that most of the ship's hulls are always colored red? It's not easy to spot since the red part of these ships is always below the water. Anyway, what is the reason behind this? And what is the actual function of the paint? Hello everyone, welcome back to Military TV. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the reason why most of the ship's lower parts are painted red. If you're eager to learn more, don't go anywhere and stay tuned. Centuries ago, early sailing ships were made from wood. Since wood is an organic material, it had a porous structure. Combined with its slow speed and rough hull, it proved to be an ideal breeding space for underwater marine life, seaweeds, worms, barnacles, and algae. Because of this condition, the ship needed some kind of protection to prevent barnacles and wood-eating worms from eating away the ship's lower part which sits under the waterline. Copper oxide paint, which operated as a biocide, provided this protection. The crimson tint came from the copper in the paint, resulting in the color red covering the overall hull of the ship. The copper paint, which is also known as anti-fouling paint, has the ability to minimize the amounts of subaquatic organisms that cling onto a ship's hull. Hence, the ship can better retain its structural integrity and avoid being bogged down by ocean crap like seaweed. Through creating a protective layer, ships would not be weighed down by critters and plants attaching themselves to the ship's bottom. This was critical since anything attached to the ship's hull may increase drag and cause the ship to slow down, requiring more fuel. When iron and steel were introduced to the maritime business, everything changed. Wooden hulls are now a thing of the past, with iron ships serving as the backbone of the global supply network. Nonetheless, the issue of marine life causing drag continues to exist. Anti-fouling paint thus became a very important matter for the marine industry as corporations are increasingly focusing on cost-effectiveness in order to maximize profits. Nowadays, biocides or ship-protecting additives can be mixed to any color of paint. This leads to some ships' hulls having colors other than red. However, to honor and maintain the nautical tradition, the red color is still prioritized for the bottom part of most ships. Another main function of red is to serve as a background to measure the load of the ships. Because as the ship loads more weight, its body will be gradually pressed, making the part which is demarcated with red paint sits under the water. So numerical measurements written on the red background can help the seafarer to know how much of the ship's body has gone under the water surface. Regardless of the anti-fouling paints covering the lower part of the ships, they can never completely stop the growth of marine organisms dwelling on the hull. Oftentimes, ships docked at the port or shipyard aren't allowed to scrape the muck found on the hull. Since the ship has sailed from faraway waters, it can bring non-native organisms that can harm the local ecosystem. That's all for today. No more wondering why the ship's hull painted red. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.